The St. George Secondary was the location for this year's Louis Lynch Games, and let's have a look at the senior 200 meters. These are the under-17 girls where Talents Club will make it a clean sweep, so it was left to be seen who will slot into the top three places. Off the turn, the Applewick Twins look to be in control, but here comes Zaria Giddens with a power surge in the final 100 meters, and she looks in fine form, taking the win at 26.06 seconds, ahead of Crystal Bentham, 26.49, and Tania Applewick was third, 26.60. Under 17 boys, now we pick it up as they come off the bench, flying and wash a gray shirt of Ada Moore of elite distance. He is in business mode as he has been all season. There's just no stopping him as he crosses the lane in 22.40 seconds. Head of Talents, Darian Belgrave, 22.69, and J.K. Brewster of Extreme Velocity, 22.77. Also having the first 100 done and dusted in quick time with the under 20 boys. It looked pretty even at this stage as we come into the home stretch. And it'll be a battle of three big ones for the win. Finding the edge in the final strikes is Pacers, Jaden Green, just preparing Kyron Hayes and Rod Nico Carrington of Extreme Velocity. The winning time was 22.01 seconds. The Open Women final had a full feel at making the early running was Ayanna Morgan, but watch as the others came to the party when it mattered most. Final 80 meters and we had a race on our hands. On the outside, Kalicia Downs, battling with Talon's teammate Kelia Bentham. And Bentham was the one to triumph in 25.47 seconds, Downs 25.68, and Daniel Lewis was third in 26.10. And here come the open men in the final 200 meter of the night with the Sean City leading the charge. He's from elite distance. There's just no stopping him as he conquered the field in 22.03 seconds. Head of extreme velocity, Jaheim Gravesen, 22.26. And Shamari Shepard Rollins of Talons, 22.37. The track and field season is in full gear.